it's me again. Um, I just wanted to report that I think my pot is getting worse. Uh, it's becoming more difficult and more uh, fluent. I like always oh, this. This is the pot's which affects my memory and concentration I can't I can never remember the right words I want to use not even in Spanish but uh, it's becoming a lot harder and it's happening more and more often um, I had to go to physical therapy today and it disabled me some from doing some exercises uh, um, it's not that they were hard exercises at all. It's just that I could barely, you know, it was hard for me to stay sitting down, even sitting down and, um, and standing up. Uh, um, I've, I've, I've drank so much liquids last night. Um, I went three times I urinated three times in I think probably 20 minutes uh, so I am drinking enough fluids and and I'm adding the salt and all it's just nothing nothing seems to help um, today I didn't sleep for too long because I had to wake up for the appointment so that makes it worse um, I'm very very short of breath and I'm trying to do all the tricks of elevating myself and my knees and and I've tried everything but nothing seems to help uh, so I might have to take some medications um, sometime in the future soon um, which I didn't want to really, because I already have to make sure I drink the medications I do, and um, I was really healthy uh, in terms of not um, taking meds that weren't natural, and and it's kind of hard to accept that I might have to, you know, that this condition might make me have you know do uh, take make some changes in in in, in the medications that I have to take and I have to accept that sometimes I just might need it but it's hard <laughs> I I never like taking pills at all it was just it's just one of those things I don't like doing unless they're like really you know just natural and um if not I really don't like it Especially if, if I'm going to have side effects, um, which I'm already taking Cymbalta and it, it, it did help me with my pain, but it's not helping with, with me with my POTS. For some people it does help because it works with your nervous system, but um, in my case it's making me too dehydrated and thirsty, uh, but I really needed it for my anxiety, so it it will suck if I have to stop taking Cymbalta and start over on something else um, because the getting used to antidepressants is really hard for your body, especially when you have so many things going on. But, uh, so yes, I, I, I'm I going to try Cymbalta for a few more days and see. And if not, I'll just have to... Um, change to something else that doesn't make my pots worse. Uh, I am thinking of buying a cooling vest so I can visit Puerto Rico and um, I was looking for the uh, compressing compression uh, stockings. They are kind of expensive actually. They're pretty expensive for being just stockings. Uh, uh, so we'll see, because right now my budget is really, really low. Um, my dad is about to start a new job. He was laid off for a year, so I'm, you know, I, 
I'm just getting money from donations right now and friends and family. Because um, when I was working, I already spent all that money. Because um, uh, having this all of a sudden wasn't in my plans, having EBS. And I don't, I, I, it's, it's been really expensive. Because I've been needing, you know, new splints and, um, and medic, and, and meds and, um, and vitamins and stuff that, you know, that I didn't use to take before. And, and unfortunately, this is something you have to buy every month in terms of, you know, all the, um, all the pills and stuff, uh. So yeah, right now I, I'm I'm trying to figure out how can I feel a little bit better with the pots. But um not much has been useful. Um so uh uh actually while I was doing physical therapy there was a few points in which I didn't feel so bad. But it all depends when I when my heart is actually when there's like no blood flow <laughs> for my body for my heart not to feel so bad um but yes I'm, I'm still very positive I I know it's part of it and it's just getting used to this and trying to see how I can work with it and um hopefully talking to my doctors and telling them that it's getting a little difficult for me um so I know people have it worse and you know so I'm okay, I'm just, I just know it's a little alarm that's going on in my head that's telling me that I need to do a little something extra, but, uh, but I'm doing pretty good besides that, uh, um, uh, so, yes, uh, my lips are so dry. They're already cracked, and it's it's really annoying. I feel like I have a like tape on my lips, and I can't, you know. Ugh. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And um, if you have any cool ideas and tricks for pots, please let me know. <laughs> um, and that's it for today uh hopefully i'll have exciting stuff to post soon <laughs> please bye